Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Oh, not so good. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Things happen, don't they? You change our lives. But you know, life goes on. We just keep plugging along. We're not maybe always singing this song. I'm a plugging along. No, that's not the way it is. On Blueberry Hill. No, that's not it. What is this song? It says, well, maybe it's Case of Ross. <laughs> but you know, sad things happen. My sister said that her, her son's kitty cat got electrocuted. He loved to climb fences, that little kitty cat. Not the son, but the kitty cat. But anyway, um, yeah. You know, you never know about life, do you? No, you don't. You can be walking around minding your own business, just thinking, okay, I've got to go over and water that plant, or I've got to make a pumpkin. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm making a pumpkin. Yes, I have to make it, you know, about a little bit longer, of course. And then you just turn it in, you know, and squish it. Well, you know what I mean. You draw the bottom, you draw the top, you stuff it with something and put a cinnamon stick at the top, make a curly Q, and you have a pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it, but I thought... I, well, I'm trying to make it for my sister. She wanted me to do a pumpkin. So I thought, well, I'll just do a pumpkin. It's hard for me on those single crochets, though. I'd much rather work with a larger crochet stitch, you know. Double or a triple. Or, you know what I mean. But this is really beautiful orange yarn. And I found it. Don't know where it came from, but it was in my stash. My stash is getting smaller, but still I've got a little stash. <laughs> Not anything like some of the video people out there, the creators, the YouTubers. I mean, they have yarn. I was watching uh, Llama Mama Kayla. Yeah last night and she'd taken all these things she had made and took them to a uh, the fair there where she lives and she was showing all the things she had entered and, and what she had won first place and and the Civitan group there uh, uh, supports uh, the crafters there at the uh, fair I don't know if it's a state fair or city fair I don't, don't remember now but they always support, you know, they, they, they create money by having carport sales and uh, selling uh, fruit cakes and just all kinds of things to, re to make money to support the blind and crippled, the blind organization for, uh, and also they support a lot of local uh Nonprofits, you know, like here, the uh, the Civitan Group supports the uh, the zoo train, and then the, before that, it was the not the zoo train, but the um, merry-go-round with the wooden horses on it, the originals, and uh, so and Civitan is a beautiful group to belong to. I did belong to it for about eight years, something like that, before I moved. And, uh, but it was here in Little Rock before I moved up to the hill. So it's, that's been 20 years ago. Oh my goodness, where did that go? I remember standing in front of Frankie's, which is a buffet restaurant. <laughs> we can get you a hot plate meal. You can go through the buffet. And, and I used to stand there at the door and sell fruitcakes. <laughs> I mean, I remember I was saying to myself, these old people really like fruitcakes because they're the only ones buying them. 
<laughs> can't remember the price at the time, but oh, we sold thousands, <laughs> thousands of fruit cakes. It was amazing. <laughs> and then, but anyway, but uh, but she was showing some of the beautiful, beautiful things that that. Uh, she had made, crocheted a cake, a unicorn cake. <laughs> it won first prize, prize. And then she made uh, a wreath and uh, made little crochet things on it. Um, they had, I think it was the ocean. So you had the little orange and white black fish. I can't remember the name of it. It had a TV store, I mean, a movie of its own. and. The Little Mermaid, and they had seaweed in it where she had crocheted, and, and it was what it was. I enjoyed watching it. She was collecting all of her things there, and uh, she had made two hundred ninety nine dollars. She was very proud. She said she's going to use that to put some shelves up, but uh, but I enjoyed watching it because so many of the YouTubers have so much. Uh, energy <laughs> and creativity. I mean, they're just a going and a going, going and a blowing. Is like, that means? Oh well. Anyway, we will read. Well, I will read. <laughs> Y'all's comments for today. And the very first one this morning is uh, Jill Robert Dump Robert of Via Heights. Oh, Mima, I've taken a nasty fall. Oh, I cut my face, have a black eye, hurt my rib cage and my leg. Oh, girl, you really took a tumble. Oh, my goodness. Do you have black eye? Are you okay? This was on the 19th. I broke a table too. Had 911 call. They encouraged me to go to the ER, but I did not. Pain was very bad, but every day that goes by, it gets better. Love you, me, Ma, and I'll TTY soon. Talk to you later soon. Oh. Oh, I give you a hug, a little support. You know, it happens so quick, doesn't it? And it's amazing how how many parts of your body just get, you know, tormented by a fall. Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You didn't break a you didn't break a rib. It looks sound like you hurt your rib cage. That's really hard to not break. A rib if you fall on your rib cage because you know it's not quite as strong as a tea t what is it the, the the big bones in your legs but your rib cage and your face a black eye and a cut oh I have a scar here from mine remember when I had what three years ago I mean, I had two black eyes like this. Girl, I know what you mean. You don't even want to look in a mirror at yourself. You know, it's just so pitiful looking. Pitiful. On top of feeling really but like somebody beat the tar out of you, you know. Yes, I would have done the same thing. Go to I stopped going to ER. <laughs> I just give up on them, you know. They never can help you. And they just give you something for pain and they x-ray you all over. And if there's nothing wrong, they send you home. You know, if they can't find something that they can mend, they send you home. So, that's my, well, that's my interpretation. And I feel the same way you do. Uh, you know, if, it's, if it feels like, you know, if there's a bone sticking out of my leg, well, yeah, I'm going to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm. Girl, you're going to have to be careful. We're all going to have to be careful. I was trying to plug in my little thing underneath the thing on the cabinet there. 
and it's just a little space and I was leaning over trying to, you know, how you're trying to plug it in and plug it in. And I thought, you know, if I fall on my head in this little corner, I won't ever get out there. <laughs> so sometimes we just don't think or we do think and we think we're going to be all right. No problem. But you're going to have to be careful. And the poor table too. <laughs> you had to leave a mark, did you? You want to turn the tables. I want to turn the tables. <laughs> oh, Jill, I hope you're better better every day. Like you said, I hope that continues. And I'm sure it will. Because you're a survivor. We've lived this long, Jill. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there are more apple crisps to be made. <laughs> oh, we're all supporting you in, in your healing process and praying for fast recovery. Oh, here's Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. How are you doing? I have my sister here with me for a few days. My sister-in-law passed away on Wednesday. Seems like the sadness never ends. Did real good at the sales. I'm in West Virginia. I have great, we had great weather for the sale. I'm so glad that, but that was so much fun. So much fun. But I'm so sorry about some sister-in-law. Mm. Was she ill or just, it's none of my business, I know that. It's just the loss of someone you love. Yeah, I'm having your sister there. That's nice, isn't it? You can hug each other and talk about old times and good times and bad times. <laughs> Happy times. And times and times and times. <laughs> a sister is like a forever friend. Who knows you longer than they do? <laughs> and you them. <laughs> good, to, good to hear from you, Tom. Uh, Mrs. C's Cottage. Nothing better than old friends. You're right, Mrs. C. You're right. Been working on making items for video winners. Between those and an occasional blanket, it keeps me busy. What do you mean working on making items for video winners? Hmm... Inquiring minds just want to know just enough to know that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. We have to do what we do that we love. Absolutely. And I'll hear Joy Bird. The color of the dress or gown you have on today really looks good on you. Oh, yes, that is a good color, isn't it? I don't know what color it is. If it's, uh, I ordered, I think, three at the time I ordered that from Amazon. They were on sale. And they were, I got a gray one, that color, and the blue one I wear. I think I bought three. Three, yes. Thank you. Brings out your facial features a lot. Been making easy peasy toddler beanies. <laughs> I've made 10 so far this week. And four adult divine hats. Oh my gosh, how do you produce so much? I'm really slow. Crochet compared to you guys is producing and the producing. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'd love to see the pictures of those that you're doing very much. Well, I uh, appreciate y'all's comments so much, so much, so much, so much. Well, today is Saturday, and uh, I'm going to just sit here for a little while. I may go out and rake the leaves for, you know, five or ten minutes. You, you know, if you just bite off a little bit at a time, uh, you'll get it done. Yes, you know, it's just like making a blanket. You just make it one stitch at a time. Or a pumpkin. 
I don't know why this is so slow for me. It's that single stitch, as I was telling you earlier. It's very difficult. But me and my little cardinal, I call her a she, but you know cardinals that are red are male cardinals. <laughs> did you know that? You did know that, did you? Yes. You see it? Can't see an eye or a mouth, but uh, I just didn't feel like making a little eye and a mouth or, or a beak is what they call it, those little beaks. Just the way it is. Yes, it's going to be an exciting day for, for everybody. We're still here. We're still here. We are survivors. The world is good. I'm still waiting on letters from the kids. Hope I get them soon. I'm anxious to, I'm really anxious about that. Yes, I am. And today I think I may make a pot of soup. I've got carrots, potatoes, onions. Well, there you go, you know. I've got some V8 juice I can put in there. Mm, what am I going to use for meat, though? Mm, seasonings. I'll, I'll just make vegetable soup. I like vegetable soup very much. Yeah, and season it with, and I think out in the garden I've got some uh, oregano, a little oregano. I don't have any bay leaves, and so I might put oregano in. I've got fresh oregano that needs to be harvested. You know, I've got a little pot. That's the one I pinched off at restaurants. Uh, garden that they had. <laughs> As you go into the restaurant, there's a little high concrete pedestal thing and they had the little plants on both sides and uh, they had all kinds of black red flowers, you know, in there too. And But the herbs were there and I could smell them as I walked by. <laughs> So when I started to leave, I took a little pinch, I mean that much, of oregano and that much of rosemary that was there. Pretty good little sized plants, but I took a little bit. I put them in a little saucer, put water on them. Well, I rooted them. Well, I, now I've got two plants. <laughs> now i got to figure out, do I bring them in or do you leave them outside? But they're pretty good size. I probably should harvest some of them and then... Uh, well, why? I'm, I'd rather use fresh, wouldn't you? But that's, that's what I'm going to choose today. Sure wish I had an apple crisp or something like that. Or maybe some pumpkin saucer. Uh, <laughs> but I do have peach jelly. I think I'll make some peach jelly toast for breakfast this morning. Well, have a good day. I'm thinking of y'all enjoying a beautiful day and having my coffee. And uh, remember, you know who you are, what day it is. Hopefully, you know what time it is. Coffee time. And carry on because you are all survivors. And you're here for a purpose. You are. You are. Remember, God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray for Mother Earth, the bumblebees, the caterpillars, the crocodiles. No, not the crocodiles. Okay, well, the crocodiles. <laughs> all, the little, all the little beings that live here with us on this huge, huge earth, especially each other. <laughs> <laughs>